So now I have little Rook with me, but I start the music business. Since I was born, I've been doing this career since I was little. So about 19 years, I guess 19, you can say. 19 <laughs> years. So. Since he came out, he was singing. Were you singing or were you, or were you crying? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, Mama will tell me. <laughs> you have an album. That, yes. He's only 19, he's got an album. Well, maybe, maybe that's how it should be. Is that time? Yes. I recorded this in uh, Hollywood and I've written all my songs. You I write produced the songs? album. Yes, I do. And you produce it? You do the whole thing? Yeah. Not engineer it, that no, part's no, hard. Yeah. You, you can't do it, so you actually go into the studio? Yes. And what was it like doing that? Were you nervous or were you kind of sort of excited? Or? Oh, both. Nervous, excited, discombobulated. Uh, I, I turn into a different person when I get into the booth. How did you find out you, you, you had a voice? I don't know. I, just something told me. Um, I've had angels around me. I've had a light over my head. I don't know. I just, I, I was natural at it. I've just always performed. It turned into a hairbrush to an actual microphone. So I've been putting on shows in my living room and just always been performing. When you got your first microphone, how excited were you? I was really I mean, that's excited. like a big step for somebody. Big how old were you? I was about, I think I was about five years old. Five years old, <laughs> getting, getting so your, your, your own microphone. microphone. Yeah. What well, makes you think that? Oh, I don't know. It's just, it's just how I feel. I have so much faith in things that have happened in my life, or blessings, and just dreams, and just, I don't know, there's always been a light over my head, and I've, I've always so just felt that in my heart. You recognize that. A lot of people yeah, don't recognize, recognize it. The music business is a very, very tough business, and you don't really think about angels, and you don't think about a lot of, a lot of stuff going on, yeah. but it is, and, it's, it's, and, and, and you believe in it. And you yeah. also believe that the amount of work you put in is the amount of work you'll get right back out again. Absolutely. So what's been your favorite song um, to sing? Oh, my favorite song is This Is The Beat. I, I wrote that song, I produced it, and it's a, a rhythmic pop song. And I really like making people feel good, and it gets people dancing. And I, I do one little note that I hit when I perform that song. Can so you sing a little bit of it? <laughs> I'd like you to sing a little piece of something you really feel comfortable with or okay. something. So go, go for it. Let me do a John Lennon song. John, John oh. Lennon. <laughs> Imagine all the people living life in peace. <laughs> That's See, a, when you put them on the spot, now we know he really does have a voice. <laughs> and he also has a mother and father that absolutely believe in him because they're sitting right out here to have a meltdown here. They're probably going to and, I'm going back to Hollywood in the beginning of the year to perform and throw my tag around some more. Okay, great. And do you find that the social media and everything, you know, it's all social media now, that you can really get yourself out there? Oh, absolutely. I and love do it. you do that yeah. yourself? Yes, I do. So you see, this young man, he's, he knows that he has to actually put himself out there because, but then if you're not out there, nobody knows what you're doing. That's true. Super. But you're mostly a singer. Yes. Okay. One day I'll play the guitar when I reinvent myself. <laughs> it sounds like he doesn't have to reinvent himself. He's doing very well already. It's oh. been amazing. And thank, thank you so you. much You're for beautiful. coming on. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to give you a hug. Oh, thank you so much. And I just have to say, I'm sitting on a seat where Elvis sat. That's right. This is. Oh, he's now promoting. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty inspired by Elvis. Yes. I don't, well, yeah. this is where he sat. This was his booth. This is a different booth, but this is where he was. This is wow. where he had, He came in the back door. The right now. Now. I know. He came in the, so wow. maybe from from his lips up there yes. to you that you'll become as famous as him. Yeah, well, Work you were hard. the cross and the star, David. Because there you are. Yeah, he did. He wore it. There you are. Absolutely. Thank you for coming on. Uh, thank welcome. you for watching Vegas Live with me. Now we shall all be back next week.